Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're unable to open up your game bar in Windows 10. So if for some reason you're unable to access it or open it up properly, this tutorial should be able to hopefully resolve the problem. So first thing I would suggest would be to open up the start menu, just off on the start button one time, type in game bar. One of the best managers should come back with a game bar settings. You want to select the game bar settings underneath the settings category on the star menu search results. And now you want to underneath record game clips, screenshots, and broadcast using game bar. You want to make sure it's just toggled to the on position. So if it's currently turned off, so if it's just an uh, empty oval here, you want to just left click inside the oval one time, shift it to the on position. And then once you're done with that, you should be able to close out of here. I would suggest restarting your computer as well, and then hopefully that has been able to resolve the problem. If you are still experiencing a problem, I'm going to have a link to a media feature pack within Microsoft's website that should hopefully be able to also address another potential workaround for you guys. So basically we're going to just open up a web browser here. doesn't matter which one, but we're going to be locating the media feature pack for Windows 10. And this should hopefully be able to allow us to jumpstart our game bar activities here. So if for some reason it's not working properly, hopefully this feature pack should be able to yield some positive results for you guys. So let me just close out of the second window. I don't want to open up more than one. And I am going to have this link in the description of my video. I want you guys to just copy it out like you would any normal text. So just highlight over it and then right click on it, copy or control C on your keyboard, whichever you prefer, doesn't matter to me. And underneath media feature pack for these versions of Windows 10, you want to go select your correct language here and then select the download button. If you're running a 32-bit version of the operating system, you want to select the one that just doesn't have any times next to it. So you can see the 64-bit one has time 64 next to it. The 32-bit just doesn't actually show 32-bit. It just doesn't show anything. So since I'm running a 32-bit version of Windows 10, I'm going to select the first one. However, some of you guys, or most of you guys, are probably running the 64-bit version, which you can see at the time of this recording is the second one and the larger file. So again, just make sure you select the correct one, left click on next, and this should take a moment to download here, so you just want to be patient. And you can see it has, looks like it's got about another minute to go. We're going to let it continue to download here, and I will jump back in with the narration once this is complete. So once it's done downloading, I'm just going to left click on the file one time to launch it up on our screen. So depending on what web browser you're using, it might look a little different. I'm just clicking on the file to open it up. And if you get a file security notice, you want to just left click on open.
And if it's going to ask you want to install the following Windows software update, left click on yes. should say read these license terms. Once you're done looking through it, just left click on I agree. So once it's done installing, I would suggest restarting your computer and you should be good to go. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.